In a small warehouse in Salt Lake City, you'll see dozens of volunteers pushing carts, stacks of boxes, and loads of supplies. Okay, how about some fruit cocktail? Must-haves for the people, comfortable walking shoes. And how many times do you think we've been around? Uh, at least 100. <laughs> and good company. Well, the most remarkable volunteers to work with. The volunteers are filling boxes with essential supplies for the Adopt a Native Elder program. Right now, they help more than 700 elders over 75 years old on the Navajo reservation. The program raises money to distribute supplies the elders desperately need. CJ Robb is the assistant director. In order to help them aid at home, deliver food, medical supplies, clothing, support their families who are their caretakers. While many won't meet those opening these boxes, it's important to them to know they are packed with kindness and love. It's a gift, and it's a gift of service from us to them. Just a few weeks later, a serene silence fills the warehouse rather than volunteers. Those boxes they packed still remain. I've made it through some really tough times with these elders and nothing like this has ever stopped me. Twice a year for the last 35 years, Linda Myers, the adopt -a native elder founder, has made trips to Aliato and Navajo Mountain in southern Utah and other parts of the reservation in northern Arizona. She has never missed a delivery. I just know when they know it's time for me to come and I don't come. That's the hard part. Linda says she doesn't want to put the elder's vulnerable health in jeopardy. She is missing her first food run because of the coronavirus. That probably affects me the most right now is that they think I'm coming and I get calls every day saying, but aren't you gonna come? It's extremely very emotional to um, say no. Roger Williams is from Sand Springs near the Hopi Reservation, now helping it adopt a native elder, but his thoughts are with his family. With the traditional people, your faith is what counts. COVID-19 has hit the Navajo Nation hard, claiming many lives. Roger is turning to his tradition to help with a Navajo prayer. It's on Arabic, it means when all is in harmony and balance, including all of life and all people living in harmony. Linda says they are still doing what they can to try to help just by mail. Something we can do is make sure they have money for the local Bash's grocery store, make sure they have yarn to weave with. Until she can get back to getting the much needed supplies to the elders. But it's hard because it's a time they yeah. most need it. Yeah. In person but I will when I can, you know. Reporting for Utah Insight, I'm Rayanne Christensen.